Can you please give some pointers on how to memorize the Quran in an efficient way? Banazir, the Quran is the word of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah mentioned in a number of different ayahs in Surah Al Qamar. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِمْ مُدَّكِرِ That Allah Azza wa Jal has made it easy for pe people to memorize and to contemplate on and to understand. So it is easy. To my knowledge, there is no other religion that the followers of such a religion could come forward and say, we memorized our Holy Scripture by heart. I don't know of any person on earth who memorizes the whole Bible, Old and New Testament, word for word, page for page. Let alone that it, none of them can prove or show us that their scripture is the same that was revealed to their messenger or prophet. So even the Christians cannot come and say, this is our Bible. Because I would say, which Bible do you mean? The Dewey Virgin or King James Virgin or the Revised Standard Virgin or, 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 or. Each church has its own virgin, which is not possible. And they're not able to bring us the original copy. So from Aramaic to Hebrew to Latin to English, can an I see? and cross-examine, said, no, sorry, this is all what we have today. All other religions are the same fashion, except Quran. This book was revealed 15 centuries ago, almost 1440 years ago. And it's still intact. Not a single letter has been altered or changed. It is in the same language that more than 300 or 400 million people speak today. So you go to Morocco, you go to uh, Jordan, you go to uh, um, the Gulf, and you ask them about the Quran, and you open it to them, they read it, they understand it. And not only that, if you were to burn all the copies on earth, more than... 50 million half of Qaris would come and write another copy identical to, the, to those that were burned. Not a single letter changed because Allah preserved it in the chests of men. This great Quran, memorizing it, varies from one person to the other. It's not one size that fits soul. The way I memorize it, may differ from the way that this person memorizes it or that. Some people like to memorize the Quran before Fajr Adhan. So they stand up for prayer, for night prayer, tahajjud, and then they spend some time to recite it and read it and memorize it. Others prefer to do that after Fajr time. There are those who prefer it to do it after Asr, and those who prefer to do it after Maghrib, and those who prefer to do it at night time. So people differ. There are people who master memorizing the Quran through repetition. So the first ayah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, they repeat it a hundred times. Others memorize it by writing it. And this was the old way of known as Al-Kutab, where the teacher sits among the students and the students have a small board and they write one ayah. They memorize it and they erase it. And they do this on and on and on until it is fixed in their heads. And, th and this is one of the good ways because usually writing is far better than repetition. The most important thing in memorizing the Quran is revising it. I know brothers and I know sisters 
who on daily basis memorize one page of the Quran. And this is very efficient. And they finish the Quran like in a year and a half or maybe two years. They finished memorizing the whole Quran. But the quality of their memorization, the efficiency of their memorization is like 2%. I can memorize the face or, or one page of the Quran in less than four or five minutes because people often either know it by heart or they have read it so many times that it can be easily read. But you come the following week and ask me about it to read it out of memory, I can't. I have to give, tell me, give me a couple of minutes and revise it and I can do that. So memorizing it is not an issue. Maintaining it, preserving it is an issue because it quickly disappears. You easily forget ayahs that you do not revise regularly. I know people, normal people, who memorize the Quran but they revise one juzu every single day. So every month, out of memory, they revise the Quran. And they keep on doing this every single month. I know a personal friend who revises two juzu every day. So every 15 days, he, he revises the Quran out of memory. So he does this twice a month. And I know a relative of mine who revises five juzu, which means every six days she revises the Quran and she goes on and on and on. And don't ask about the quality of her memorization. It is almost perfect. Any ayah you recite, she says, nope, this is wrong. The correct is this. Why? Because she just revised it less than six days ago. And she calls her siblings, she calls her uh, uh, relatives, her mahrams, every day five juzu. You need someone to hold the Quran and, 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 and follow up and correct you. And this takes hours, but don't ask about the reward. So each one's effort is different to the other. And I hope this answers your question.